All right, y'all. Sway Gangsta Gangsta G Way hollering at you. We got a special guest today, Mr. Strictly Business. Mr. Strictly Business. And I'm going to walk out for a second before we ask him a couple of questions. We got that cab over. It's uh, 1994? 94. 94. It's a nine speed. And what you got up in there? Detroit? Detroit 350 Cummins. Okay, okay. Uh, you do most of your own work? Every bit that I can do. <laughs> hey, actually, he he, uh, he trying to fix his screws to Troy right now. <laughs> so how long you had it? Five years. Okay. You mind me asking where you dug it up from, man? It come out, it come out up there where the, uh, the stump hole at up there in West Virginia. Oh, okay. All right, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Hey, 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 the way I met him, oh, Gangster woke up this morning and um, needed a jump. And um, he helped me out. And um, we ride here. Actually, we have another driver with us today. Hey. What's your name, sir? Bobby. How long you been driving, Mr. Bobby? 45 years. 45 years. So, so you you have seen plenty of these old cab overs out here, oh, right? Yeah, I <laughs> my teeth in them. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I, I would love to drive one one day. I ain't never drove one. Um, actually, like I said, I needed a jump. Mr. Bible was next to me. We had to wake him up so we can, you know, get closer with the cables. And actually, another driver, I don't know if y'all can see that peak back right there. He came out and gave us some longer cables. Um, it's still unity in truck driving. You know, it's hard to... Um, it's hard to really still find that these days. A lot of us are pass each other on the road and won't say nothing, see each other trying to back into a parking spot and can't get it, won't even get out and help the unexperienced driver. But today, we proved all that theory wrong. Ain't that right, fellas? We know that. <laughs> we band together, can't nobody whip us. Okay, okay. Hey. That's why I'm just telling him, we as a whole, if we put our money together, we run the fucking nation. That's right. We run the damn nation. We make enough money to run the damn nation. Yes, we be our own goddamn truck stop. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I mean, literally, we could be our own damn truck stop. Hey, you, make our own goddamn prices. Yeah. Hey, you know the guy had, I don't know the guy's name, but he went up to D.C. They did a protest last year. Um, don't know. I think that's how the new ELD split came out. I think that's how that came about. But they need to do something about regulating these um, brokers and agents. That's right. <laughs> That's our biggest problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, because you, you you got some broker houses out there snatching plenty off the top. We ain't going to say the percentage. But um, what you've seen changing trucking since all your years been out here? Like you said, drivers don't help one another no more. I don't even talk on the CV no damn more. Uh, yeah. No, I don't. I don't even run one no more. What? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I, I run one, but if, um, if God put in my spirit to help somebody, I'm gonna help. If not, I'm gonna keep it moving. Yeah. Hey, and literally, I was getting a cup of coffee. He saw me buying some cake and told me, "No, nah, man, don't don't buy them." No. Don't worry <laughs> about that. Yeah, you just told me he got me. He told me he got me. And um, back to the CB thing. I do um, carry a CB, but. Believe me, I don't, I don't turn it on unless I'm coming up on a, um, a slow up in traffic. Right. So I can find out what's going on. <laughs> yeah. Too much chatter go across there. Chatter about nothing. But um, before I let you go, would you like to say anything else, sir? No, I won't you Okay. Well, we just enjoy yeah. the truck. Yeah, I appreciate it. And <laughs> hey, you stay safe out there, all right? Toot the horn twice. Let's go spit the business day. All right, Strickland Benny, we holler back. What up, y'all? It's your boy Gangsta Gangsta G Way. What up? All right, today is Thursday, and I'll be dropping the video Friday, but that's a whole nother video. The video is going to be unoperated by in the house, my experience. Okay, so the only reason I'm saying that because I'm still in the same gift. <laughs> I'm still in the same gift. And at the beginning of that video, I tell y'all about how I got stuck out here. In LA taking a 34 but the part that I left out and I'm starting my vlog for this video the part that I left out all right after I got um, took a whole 34 waiting on a good paying load um, that I really didn't want to take but it was a good paying load so I said skip it I take the 34 getting back to the East Coast all right boom. 
them old canceled on me. I told y'all in that video, whatever. It didn't technically didn't cancel. The agent had the wrong um, dimensions. So yes, it was an oversized load, but it ended up being um, super oversized and overweight for a step day. It was me and another guy. All right. So of course by now I'm scrumming on the load board, scrumming on the load board, scrum, 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 scrum. And when I scrambled on the load board, I came across a load um, and I called on it. Um, Cause you see loads, you better call on them quick. Especially they paying three dollars plus a mile. You know, y'all boss boy killing the game right now. So I see three dollars, I'm gonna lose my mind. Three thirty eight. All right, oh, let me call it real quick. Going for an L.A. to Chicago. Oh, called them. Yeah, then I'm reading it says team. I'm like, ah, uh, didn't mean to waste your time. All right. Say, so you know what, man? I'm really trying to move this load. Blah blah blah. Swoo, you don't need a team. All right, boom. Okay. Um. XYZ, you can pick it up at the port. All right, I'm down here in San Diego. I can be in Long Beach in an hour and a half, two hours. You know what I'm saying? LA 55 miles now. Y'all know about Cali. Anyway, anyway, howdy who? All right, get up here. Uh, they got the freight bill. Get up here, whatever. It's a port appointment. Yeah, I got my Twit car. I got my RFI scanner. RFI scanner was purchased in New Jersey two years ago, okay? About a year and a half. All right, um, so now I got to be reprogrammed for the West Coast. <sighs> messing around, messing around, messing around with um, Pro, no, Power Only. Um, Samantha's awesome. I'm not talking about her. Um, all of them are awesome over there. Um, Power Only's supposed to get my RFI scan. You know what I'm saying? Or to get my RFI scan to get me an appointment. Okay. Mind you, the time difference between the East Coast and West Coast. So... It getting towards the end of the day. I'm getting asked. It's three o'clock. I'm about to cancel a load. I see another load, pretty much paying three hundred dollars cheaper, but it's going farther into was it's going up to Wisconsin instead of Detroit. But it only weighed. I mean, Wisconsin instead of Chicago, but it only weighed like three thousand pounds. This load here is like at thirty thousand, thirty, thirty-five thousand, thirty, I think. Um, it was just a more simpler load, but it went farther. Um, it paid a little less. So I was about to get that load. I'm literally on the phone with the agent. Yo, man, I'm getting antsy. I done already killed. I've been here since Tuesday, y'all. I done killed Tuesday. I delivered Tuesday morning. So I was there all day Tuesday, all day Wednesday. Wake up Thursday morning, get ready to get my load. It's took away. It's took away. So now I'm sitting here. It's like 3 o'clock in the evening, West Coast time. Of course, East Coast shut down. So it's like, I don't know what's going on. So finally they came with my RFI scanner XYZ. Hey boy gangster sitting in this light. I'll show y'all where I'm at. Point of letting y'all know all this. Y'all know gangster don't really do nice stuff. Picking up eight o'clock tonight. So now it's about 8.30. I'm sitting in this line. Who knows how long I'm gonna be here? Uh, mind you, I started my clock today. I tried to do the new split thing just ain't work out for me because I had to once they got my RFI scanner done I had to go around and test so instead of hitting off duty I pulled out the clutch when I thought about hitting off duty by that time triple clock so I couldn't stop my 14 hour clock with that new um, wheel split pair of crap alright what up <laughs> alright that's my little rat and rave I'll be live this trip to Chicago for y'all <laughs> alright a lot of my videos been in the truck lately, so I get out the truck, get y'all some entertainment with you real quick. Y'all see where I'm at. Port of Long Beach. Um, as usual, y'all here in Cali, like I told y'all before, took another scratch out of this thing. Um, rates really been going down lately here, you know, with the election and everything. Hope y'all went out and vote. Don't care who you vote for. Just make sure you get out and make sure your voice get heard. All right. Um... Like I said, with the election every four years, y'all expect race to start going down. I uh, haven't looked at box lately, but I think y'all still kicking us in the behind because I was looking at rates coming out of Cali that I couldn't believe compared to the last few times I've been out here. Um, so, especially stuff going back east. I think the lowest one I saw was a dollar sixty-two going back east, and <laughs> I ain't having a dollar sixty. No, I ain't having a dollar. No. So anyway, um, saw this one, 338 a mile. Yeah, I got to go through the rigmarole, get out of my element. 
uh, Gangster Don't Rain at night, but I'll pull it up out of here at night because I'm on my way to uh, what are the San Bernardino. Go shut it down at TA. And if they ain't got another TA, I'll go ahead and take it over the mountain. It's a pilot out there. Um, yeah, I'll take it there. But like I said, I just had to get out the truck one time, give y'all a little view. All right. Let y'all know where I'm at. Yep, yeah, I'll hit an hour 80, y'all. That's been rolling hard. Uh, left, get in here because I know this wind blowing. <sighs> Left um the Petro and what it is San Ber San Bernardino, California. Left there about six in the morning, um Friday morning. And now it is Sunday afternoon. Um, that's been rolling hard, you know. Getting that sleep in, you know. You drive them 11 hours, keep that left door closed. Just let y'all know. Mile. Might be kind of blurry. 30 minutes. 31 minutes left on. <laughs> Gangs have been rolling hard. <laughs> That's just the day. Um, and hey, there was 731 hard miles. Let me tell you. When I left out of uh, where I stopped there last night. I stopped on Interstate 76 at that second Petro. Uh, I'm in mean, that second on um, Love's when you're leaving out of Denver. You come across the Love about 31 miles outside of Denver. There's another one about 91 miles outside of Denver before you hit I-80. Okay. Filled up there. I'm here filling up again. Filled up there this morning and um, going up to the 80, I was getting like because I restarted my um, fuel thing and I was getting 7.4 miles to the gallon. By the time I got in Nebraska, man, winds gusting 50, 60 miles an hour. They throw the, you know, the signs up. Man, you know, steering wheel caught like this trying to keep on the road, you know. Long story short, right now I'm at 5.5 .5 miles per gallon. Gangsta burned up some fuel today. If that wind when it came through, I'd have got better than that. Um, all right, y'all. I'm finna get in here, go park. Let me stop this pump. Filling up. Shit, shower, shade. Give me something to eat. Hit it again as soon as I get on uh, this 10 hour break in and hit it again. But hell, I'll be in Chicago tomorrow in the morning, y'all. <laughs> Who's head can't be done? Do the math now. San Bernardino Petro. Now I'm at hour 80. Boy, gang to rolling. Yo. Man, I just got the best parking spot I ever had. Coming here. Just real quick to show y'all. Don't worry, I ain't doing another video. And they go big. <laughs> best spot I ever had coming here. Alright, like I said, I ain't gonna do another hour 80 video. You go through my videos, you'll see I done did about three, four. I was curious on what the hell I was hauling, you know. Freight bill said X, Y, Z, whatever, whatever, whatever. I ain't know, know what it was, but I just had to. All right, what up, y'all? Gonna wrap this video up. Um, back in the H I, um, trying to see about gangster had a little snafu yesterday. <laughs> um, long story short, um. I think I left out with y'all. I uh, dropped that load. I bought from LA out to um, outside of Chicago, and then I picked up a um, little light uh, caliper compact, and bought that down to Albany, Georgia. Um, I think I got a little video of it. But anyway, um, dropped that off, came to the house, and I actually was going to take Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. Um, but I ended up taking a little run Friday, last minute low, five dollars a mile, just going from um, the A to down to uh, Savannah. Anyway, <laughs> long story short, they had this loading dock. You had to back up, 
back down to down around the building, around a curve, a couple of curves, and um, load up in a, a container. Long story short, Gates tried to straighten up, you know, because the road was windy. Gates to hit a tree branch, y'all. So, um, I wait for somebody to come give me a quote, and the only reason I'm telling y'all this story, well, I tell y'all everything anyway, but the reason I'm telling y'all this story, I had called Gallagher, and it's like, yo, you know, I got a little uh, fiberglass damage, you know, um, can XYZ happen? Oh, we'll call you back Monday and take a report. So if anybody ever had any experience with dealing with Gallagher, uh, please let me know down in the comments. But I ain't gonna make this video too long. It's your boy Gangsta Gangsta G-Way. Peace. I'm out, y'all. Y'all be safe out there. Yo.